hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you the operators so i'll show you arithmetic relational increment decrement operator in the video so in my last video you have learned about the where and well the difference between learn uh, difference between where and well and uh, i show you the data type in kotlin so now i hope you are aware about it so in this video let me create a new class file to this to demo you the operators so i'm creating a separate class for demo operator now type just main and press tab so you will see this main function so this is the entry point of this class or any program so first thing i am declaring the two variable one two number that is the integer type so one is 15 and another variable is 4. So we'll run all the operations on this, these two variables. So first is the addition. So how to add two numbers or how to use this plus operator. So I'm just simply printing this message and then I'll add these two number and print it in our console so let me type 15 plus 4 so the output should be 19 so this double the slash line is just for the comment so if you want to put any comment in your code you can just press and you can just use double slash so let's run and see so you can see this 19 so this is the way plus operator works. So now is the minus operator. So simply I'll use println. I'll print a message minus operator operation. And inside this block 15 minus 4. Should it should print 11. So let's run and see there you go next operator come that is the multiplication so let's see So 15 into 4 should be 60. Let's run and see. There you go. And next arithmetic operator is divide. So 15 divide by 4. So guess what it will print? It will print 3. Because it should be in the decimal point. But since our both the variables are integer. So that's the reason it's just printing the 3. So it is skipping the value which is after the decimal point. So it should be 3.75 so it is skipping the decimal value so if you want to print all death with the decimal then we need to make our one variable at least in a float so i'll show you let me show so 15 dot 2 float so I'm converting one variable into the float. So this is how you can convert any integer to float or double or string. So now run and let's see. There you go. So once we converted our integer variable to float, now it's printing the full value. 
including the decimal point. So now you understand the difference between integer and float type of variable. Next operator is modulus operator. So this operator we use to get the reminder. So when we divide any number and we got the reminder, so we can directly got the reminder by using this operator. So if I say 15 modulus 4, then the reminder value will be 3. So it will return us 3. Let's run and see. There you go. So I hope you understand the arithmetic operators now. Next is relational operators. So now do you know what is the relational operator? So these are the greater than, less than, greater than equal to less than equal to equal to equal to and not equal to these are the relational operators so i'll show you now how we can use these relational operators so these are relational operators we use to compare two values so 15 is greater than Four. Is it true? So it will return. It will print true. Let's see. There you go. So 15 is greater than 4. That's correct. We Everybody knows that. Now let me show you. 15 is greater than or equal to true. So if any condition will true, then it will print true. You see now. Next operator is less than, so is 15 less than 4? No, so that means it should be false. Let's run and see. There you go. Is 15 less than or equal to 4? That's not true, right? So it should be false. Again, it will be false. Next operator is equal to equal to. Let's see how what it will print. So we'll use the equal to equal to. So when both the numbers are equal, then it will be true. Else it will be false. So here we are expecting false. There you go. Now next operator is not equal to. So 15 is not equal to 4. That means it's true. So this will print true. So hope you understand these operators greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to, equal to, and not equal to. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section anytime. Now, next topic is increment and decrement operators. So increment operator is plus plus minus minus. So I'll show you how we can use plus plus minus minus. So first let me show it this. I'll show you the plus plus operator. So let me try with 15 plus plus. It's showing some error. Uh, okay so so now you see in my previous video i show you val cannot be reassigned so it is we need to declare another variable let me define var type of variable i'm defining a i as a variable and now i'm using i plus plus so what you are expecting here we are expecting it to print 
i equal to i plus 1 so what i plus plus does uh, it does i equal to i plus 1 so it increment by one number or it add one in the same number or itself so i'm putting it here and then printing one i'll show you why i keep it outside so now we are expecting six here because 5 increment by 1 is 6. Let's run and see. There you go. Now, what we can do? We can try minus minus. So what we are expecting here? i equal to i minus 1. So it should be 4 see it's 4 already there see 4 here so minus minus does always minus 1 now I am defining one more variable that is j equal to 6 and j plus plus j so there is a difference when we use plus plus after or before the variable so I'll show you I'll show you the difference in this example so it does the same thing 6 6 plus 1 equal to 7 so currently it will print 7 so now you must okay I made a mistake it should be J now instead of i yeah now let's run okay here also so it's seven now you must be thinking what is the difference because i plus plus was also incrementing to one j plus plus j is also incrementing to one so there is a difference if i'll print it here and if i print i plus plus so now you will see the difference so now i will be 5 and j will be 7 you see this so in this case i'll, I'll tell you the difference let's run and see first you see 5 and 7 so this is because in the print ln line number 33 i is actually print first and then it increment in case of variable j it increment first and then it print that's the reason j have value 7 and i have value 6 or 5 so i'm adding one more print statement with i so now you will see 5 6 and 7 because first statement first print it 5 and then it move becomes 6 and then it print and here it's remain same as 7 so guys hope you understand arithmetic relational and increment decrement operator if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching